In this video we will show that all existing live matter is organized into levels, and we'll walk through those levels together. Let's start the journey. Ancient Greeks supposed that all matter consists of atoms. Indivisible parts. Every building, tree, or tool was supposed to consist of the same smallest unit. So all things were considered to have the same building block in their origin. But then scientists discovered neutrons, protons, and electrons, and those atoms turned out to be divisible. And even more, they turned out to have different structures. That concept also lived for a particular time. It took quite a lot of time to adjust our knowledge systems and get used to this idea. Now we know that the atom is not only divisible, but it even has a complex structure. And the elements which make an atom also have the complex interaction principles and properties. Now we have complex particle classifications like quarks, leptons, or bosons. New tools always give new resolutions, and that process seems never to stop. For our educational system let's stick to classic atomic models of Rutherford and Schrödinger and consider the atom to be the smallest part of the matter, which consists of the nucleus and a bunch of electrons flying around it. Atoms stick to different kinds of other atoms, making various shapes and forms, which we know as molecules. There are small molecules like water molecule, which consists of just three atoms. And there are also huge molecules like DNA, which consist of millions of atoms. The human body consists of and operates a very special set of molecules that it exchanges with its environment. Molecules that consist of just four elements, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen make 96.2% of our bodies. Eight lesser elements, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium and iron, make another 3.6%. Another 14 trace elements are present in tiny amounts and make 0.2%. Our bodies mostly consist of water and organic molecules. We call the molecule organic, if it is formed by different elements attached to the carbon element. Lipids, carbs, proteins and nucleic acids are all the examples of organic molecules. They stick together in different shapes and combinations to form the structures of higher level. Organelles. Organelles are huge molecular complexes that consist of simpler organic molecules that we have mentioned above. The most abundant of those building blocks are proteins. Using simpler organic molecules, cells can generate about 100,000 different types of proteins for their own purposes. Lipids are mostly used to build the membranes of cells, mitochondria and various vesicle organelles. Those membranes also have insertions of different kinds of carbs and proteins. Sugars, or carbohydrates in other words, are heavily used for energy production. The body breaks carbohydrates into glucose, which it uses to fuel brain activity. There are about 16 kinds of organelles that are responsible for complex cell signaling and functioning. Organelles interact with each other, emit and receive signals, break apart and change their form. All that festival of molecules forms a next level system. The cell. Cells are traditionally considered the building blocks of life. They can live separately, or combine into communities. There are about 200 kinds of cells in our bodies which execute numerous different functions, like stem cells, blood cells, fat cells, neurons, bone cells or epithelial cells. Cells are the organisms, which are smart enough to form complex structures and societies. 
they stick to each other, fight with each other, live with each other, share functions and build huge and complex interaction chains. The group of cells of one kind is called tissue. There are numerous kinds of tissues but they are all grouped into the four main categories, nervous, muscular, epithelial and connective. When those groups work together, they become a unique functional unit, able to perform some complex activities. We call this entity an organ. The word, organ, comes from Greek and means a tool. If we count all repeating organs, like bones, nerves, and arteries, only once, there would be about 78 types of organs in a human body. Each organ performs its little circle of activities. But together, by forming groups, they perform functions that could not be done by any organ alone. Those groups are organ systems. Each system performs vital life functions that are similar within all species. The integumentary system separates and protects the internal environment from the external. The skeletal system supports an organism's form, protects soft tissues, stores minerals, and forms blood. The muscular system moves, supports, and generates heat for the organism. The nervous system senses both the inside and outside environment, and reacts to stimuli. The endocrine system directs long-term changes in the operation of an organism. The digestive system turns food into nutrients, and excretes the waste. The cardiovascular system distributes nutrients, wastes, and gases, to and from, the cells. The lymphatic system defends our organism against infection. The respiratory system saturates our blood with oxygen. The urinary system eliminates excess water, wastes, and salts, controls pH and blood pressure. Those organ systems working together, form a beautifully orchestrated system of higher level that we name, an organism. Dissecting organisms gave name to anatomy, which means, dissection, in Greek. But if you think that human is a crown of evolution, you must be wrong. Every one of us connects to a community, which is a system itself. Same as all organisms have their metabolic cycles, the human community has its dynamics. Interhuman systems have complex subsystems of signaling and homeostasis. We have order and patterns in our relationships and activities like playing, fighting, mating, and working. If you thought that the community is a crown of evolution, you are wrong the second time. Communities themselves can form higher structures of enormous complexity. Those structures are ideas. At this level, we have corporations, religions, governments, fandoms, economies, and markets. Today we have a new variable in this equation, a silicon form of life. The computer. Together with carbon forms of life it makes energies flow in different patterns than we were accustomed to for generations and it changes the form of nearly all of ideas imaginable before. Subscribe to our channel to see more educational videos like this. If you would like to support us, visit our online store, or perhaps become our patron.